to me trading in the forex market as a beginner the key is to be as organized as possible what's up y'all i'm jay wayne you know represent team take profit coming to you with another take profit tuesday video and the pair that we're looking at today is usd to chf so us dollar to the swiss franc all right and we, we want to buy it you know you know how the last two videos i'm constantly talking about i'm getting in the trade too late i'm getting in the middle of it where it's losing steam trying to get you know the, the rest of the pips that i can get well today y'all i did my homework and as you can look on the screen here i put the buy in on this green dotted line because i want to buy this and you see um the the buy is starting to form i'm gonna zoom in for you uh, right here i'm circling it here and it's starting to buy and it's about to hit my line and we about to go into profit you feel me so um usually i'm i'm getting in up here after it had made his you know his move you know what i mean and i'm late to the party we ain't late to the party today all right so we're gonna ride that up um if you zoom out you see it's been buying quite a bit you know right here it bought a whole lot and and guys i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not a master at this yet i'm, I'm still a beginner you know and um i want to one day one day i want to be able to ride this candlestick all the way up here to this candlestick you know how much money that is you know one day i will be able to and i will record it for you guys but anyhow it started to retest it went backwards here and uh, and now it's starting to go back up again so we are here we are in it and we gonna ride it so while we waiting on price to climb um, the, the the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was when I first started um, quickly I learned that being organized is key when you trading because you want to make money when once you learn how to trade you want to make as much money as possible you get into about five different pairs at once so what I've learned and took notes on my early trading career is uh, staying organized. You know, that is key to this whole thing is being organized. You know, what I have here is a notebook. As you can see, I call it the my watch list. These are the three pairs that I'm looking at and I write the pair down and I write if it's a sell or a buy. So what the notebook does for me is it keeps me on track of what pair I really like the most because as I'm waiting for this pair that I'm in to form, you know what I mean? I want to go through all the other ones and see and start eyeing up different charts and to see if there's any other ones I want to get into. And it's so many pairs, it's like 30 different pairs. So by the time you get to the, the 25th pair, you didn't forgot about the uh, these here. So that's why I write them down. So if I don't see anything or if I get too deep looking at stuff and marking up charts, putting up my support and resistance, I can always go back to these and check on these and say, you know, see how these are going. So that's the key, man. I think uh, if you do this and implement this into your trading strategy, it will help you tremendously. So guys, we back into the trade and... Uh, this trade did not go as I planned whatsoever. Um, I just show you here. I got. I'm gonna draw an arrow. I got out on this candle here. Okay. It did not go up at all. It went as you can see the wick. I'm gonna zoom in for you. The wick, the little stem, it went all the way up here. And that's where I got out. Because it, it was moving so slow, it was basically just losing so much steam. I, I pretty much knew and I didn't want to risk it. As you can see, after that, it went down. I would have lost all that money. I'm not, in the, I'm not in the game to lose money, man. You know, the name is Team Take Profits, alright? We take profits, not lose profits. So... 
we have to be able to identify when, you know, it's about to go to, in the opposite way or when it's about to retrace or retest and go the opposite way. You have to be able to identify that if you want to make it in this uh, industry. So that's where I got out, guys. I got in on this one here. I got in on this one. And I just got out here, you know. We have to be able to react. Now, I could have got back in on, on, and rolled this big red candle down here. But at that point, I was uh, tired. And I've been up all day, so I just didn't even want to risk it. I didn't want to just, just be involved in the trade anymore, you know. It's always another trade. No rush. Don't be greedy. If it's not going your way and you're tired, you don't want to trade anymore, don't force it. Get out. Live to trade another day. So that's what happened, guys. Um, not every trade is going to be $700, $80, $100. Some trades is only going to be $20. And as you can see, that's what I made. The pair is right here. USD to CHF. USD to CHF. So, that's what I made, guys. And this is just a few of my other profits that I made later on that day. So, if you want to be a part of Team Tech Profits, email me. My email is right here below. And uh, we can I can answer your questions, give you a little bit of information. Um, I want to see you win. That's my goal. The goal is to live a quality life, the glorious life. So, I want to see you win, guys. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And let's make this money, baby. Peace.